Hi, what's up? We're back. Uh, yeah, it's it's been a while. I do apologise. I've been so so busy, um, but I'm back. I've got a bit of free free time on my hands, <clears throat> so I thought, why not? Let's do something for for YouTube. Um, I have been keeping my eye on other people's channels though, and uh, I've I've been loving some of the videos that have come out recently. I'm sure all of all of you have been uh, tuned in to Sean Croxton anyway, but I love the sense of humour that's coming out now. Especially if you watch his uh, his workout videos when they actually put the outtakes in, uh, I've noticed that uh, Origin of Balance as well. Their channel they they seem to be doing a lot more humorous stuff now. I think it's absolutely brilliant. Has been stitches some of it. So I thought, well, you know, let's get back into it. Let's do something for uh, for YouTube. Uh, thank you to everybody that has uh, subscribed so far. It really is appreciated. Uh, I think it just goes to show just what people have just how people are getting fed up with what's going on nowadays and uh, I think that's reflected on other people's channels as well Sean Croxton's like for instance I mean his channel's going through the absolute roof at the moment what's it like 10 11,000 subs or something and counting he's going to the top that guy so um, yeah I think it certainly shows a, a true a true account of what people are feeling nowadays people are just getting sick and tired of what's going on so anyway, I've done a bit of research recently on something which I thought I'd talk to you about today, um, and some of it's pretty shocking. So I thought not many people know about this. Let's let's uh, let's get the word out. Um, it's something that's actually called modified atmospheric packaging. For those who haven't heard about this, it's basically uh, when you go to the supermarket and you buy your salads and your lettuce, etc. You pick up those packs, those airtight packs. It should be airtight and those packs that are actually got the salads in that in that is your modified atmospheric packaging and I'll try to explain um, what the difference is from any other packaging um, to start with you get your all the farms and the places that are growing your salads and your lettuces it gets picked from the field the next day or on the same day some cases it gets taken direct to the packing houses some farms nowadays have the packing houses actually on the farm site itself so it goes to the packing houses which is basically in the packing house you get a long line of workers whose sole job is basically to pick through all the salad, take out all the crap um, and just make it look all nice ready for packaging. Then what happens is it will go further down the line and it'll actually get taken to uh, a dip basically which is water and chlorine which is the chlorine is supposed to be there to remove all the bugs and things like that. So what they do is they take all this nice healthy food of ours and they dip it in chlorine. Now even though, yeah, it sounds good because it kills off all the bugs, etc. Chlorine is extremely bad for the body and it's really, it is really, really bad for you. You don't want to come in contact with it in any shape or form, whether you're ingesting it, you're breathing it on your skin, you just do not want to be anywhere near it. Um, now, chlorine is it's very carcinogenic, it can cause cancer. Um, so, really, we need to be, like I said, distancing, distancing ourselves from it. And they dip it into this dip, which is at a concentration of about 50 micrograms per litre of water, which is a really, really strong concentration. <clears throat> Just to try and put it into some perspective, your average swimming pool is about, it's about 20 times less than that. So let me put that another way. The atmospheric packaging, packaged salads, have been dipped in a chlorinated water that is 20 times stronger than the concentration than you would have in your average swimming pool. Just to put some perspective on that. I'm starting to uh, stutter, that's new. So, um, <clears throat> it's throwing me off now completely. Yes, yeah, so it's a really strong um, concentration of chlorine. Then it gets taken out of the chlorine once it's all washed and it gets put into the modified atmospheric packaging or MAP for short, we'll just call it MAP. The MAP packaging, it gets put inside, they then actually adjust the oxygen to CO2 level inside of that um, packaging. So instead of having the oxygen at 21%, they actually lower it down to 3% and they adjust the CO2 accordingly to balance with that. The reason that they do that is to try and preserve um, the lettuce and all of the salad that, that's inside that bag. Uh, and it just gives an illusion of freshness, an illusion of nutrition of that food inside of the packaging. <clears throat> now, in 2003, the Journal of um, the Journal of British Nutrition actually conducted a study just to see what kind of effect this packaging has on the food inside it. And they took two groups of volunteers, 
The first group, they actually uh, gave produce that had come straight from the fields, so all the lettuce and all the salad, and fed them. That's what they fed to them, straight from the field. The second group, they then fed them on the map packaged produce, which had been in the map packaging for about three days. And they then compared the two and took bloods from both. And the bloods that they took from the group that had were on fresh produce from the farm actually showed higher antioxidant levels in their blood, um, higher concentrations of all the antioxidants, i.e., you know, your vitamin E, your vitamin C, and all of your polyphenols, all higher, and were, you know, obviously doing very well on that. They then took bloods from the group that were fed on the MAP packaging, and they actually showed no increase whatsoever in the antioxidants and uh, polyphenols, absolutely none at all. So you can see that if you're constantly eating your, your supermarket packaged uh, healthy salads, you can see that it really isn't having any kind of effect on your health at all. So, you know, it's, it's what can we do about it? Well, again, I know I keep saying this message all the time, but we can buy direct from farms. We can buy um, produce that hasn't been map packaged and get it as fresh as possible direct from the field. And that is the only answer, unfortunately. When we're kind of um, when we're kind of supporting the supermarkets and uh, giving them the money instead of the farmer, and we're just going to end up with rubbish food basically. So get it as fresh as you can. Get it direct from your direct from your farm. Um, there's there's box schemes that are going on. Um, I've got a, a farm down our local area called Riverford Organic Farm. Um, if you don't know about, look it up on the internet. If you're in the UK, they do deliver all over. And they've got the largest um, uh, farm delivery service that's in the entire country, uh, and it all comes fresh, direct from the farm. You just you couldn't get better. So that's something that you could uh, try and get involved in. That way, you don't have to go to the supermarket. You don't get this feeling of absolute trolley rage when you go in there, because oh, if you go into the supermarket, you get nothing but people that are just are angry, shouting at the kids that are running around them, people trying to ram each other with trolleys. I, mean, I don't know what it's like where you live, but I tell you what, you go to our local Tesco here and it gets uh, it gets quite a rate in there sometimes. It's just like being in a traffic jam. People just lose it. Well, I can feel it myself. I start to lose it when I'm in there. So if you you know if you buy direct from farms, you don't get any of this, it's stress free. You go to your local farm shop, everybody's happy. You know, they're happy to help you. They're not all irritable and pissed off wanting to get home. So that's what that's what you can do. Just a quick post today. Um, I hope that's helped out a little bit. I don't know if everybody knew about that map packaging uh, situation. But uh, hopefully we'll be back soon. Take care.